Republican lawmaker says it is past time for the Department of Justice to investigate whether its own personnel violated established protocol in order to investigate the Trump presidential campaign, including through contact with the now famous dossier's author, Christopher Steele. Congressman Mark Meadows has sent a letter to the Attorney General arguing that recent closed-door congressional testimony from Bruce Orr revealed multiple instances where po protocol was violated. He's demanding an inquiry of that by the Inspector General. Joe DeGeneva knows a lot about this subject. He's a former U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia, and he joins us tonight. Um, Joe, thanks for coming on. Do you think that protocol was violated? What does that mean exactly, and why is this significant? Well, I don't think there's any doubt that Bruce Orr was operating uh, beyond all constraints in the Department of Justice. And I don't know that protocol really matters. What matters here is that in his testimony, Bruce Orr said that after Christopher Steele was fired by the FBI as an informant, Bruce Orr continued to talk to him repeatedly, got information, fed it to the FBI, who then put it in FISA applications. Not only that, Bruce Orr testified that senior officials at the Justice Department, Sally Yates, Loretta Lynch, and others, John Carlin, the Assistant Attorney General for National Security, were told that he was doing this. What this tells me is that there was, I think, there's just no doubt that given the falsity of the FISA applications, the material falsehoods that were given by the Justice Department and the FBI, that the senior officials in the Justice Department, along with Bruce, uh, Bruce uh, Orr, were lying to a federal court and that all of them should be held accountable, but not because of protocols, because they violated federal criminal law. And there ought to be a grand jury doing this. Uh, we're told that this guy Huber is doing this, but he hasn't even interviewed the most important person in Uranium One. So God only knows what Huber is not doing in Utah. Wouldn't it be useful for the rest of us to know precisely what was in those FISA applications? It is absolutely essential that the President of the United States authorize the declassification of every one of those applications. And it's my understanding, uh, praise the Lord, that that process of declassification is now underway and that the White House Counsel's Office is reviewing the documents to protect sources and methods, which we all want, but also to reveal the falsehoods, the, the false, the material falsehoods that were given to the FISA court by senior Justice Department officials and senior FBI officials in the Obama administration. If you care about the credibility of the U.S. government, if you care about democracy, if you want the public on your side, which is a prerequisite for ruling a country like this, we should have more information. I don't know the, the uh, argument against. Joe, Joe, thank you for that. Thanks for explaining that and for telling us that that process is underway. I appreciate it. You bet. Well, the New York Times op-ed.